Good morning. I'm Sneetra Chaudhary, political editor of the Hindustan Times, bringing you all that you need to know about COVID-19 on Wednesday, the 24th of June. First up, I look at the numbers. In just the last 24 hours, there have been 15,668 new cases, and the number of deaths from the coronavirus stands at 14,483. However, in this edition, we have lots of good news for you. Take, for instance, the capital, which has become the latest hotspot, and perhaps is the worst hit state in the country after Maharashtra. Well, here as well, we are seeing silver lining in the form of the fact that the number of recoveries has gone up. In fact, the number of active cases of coronavirus has actually dipped in the city. If you look at it, the positivity rate, which is the number of people testing positive, uh, as compared to the number tested, is still high, but it has significantly. reduced in the last one week as well and most importantly because there's been a huge amount of fear about the logistical capacity of the city and the infrastructure in healthcare the number of free beds available in the city has also increased so all in all quite a positive outlook for the capital and it's not just the capital all over as well for instance the oxford study about the drug dexamethasone the steroid which is cheap available and is supposed to be the first treatment against death from coronavirus the results of that are out and it says that one in three critically ill patient someone who's on ventilator can be saved by dexamethasone it also says one in five patient who needs oxygen can be saved from this drug in fact it is the first treatment that is available which can save a patient from dying from the coronavirus in india of course they are using another steroid that is glucocorticoid which is already being used in particularly ill cases of covid-19 That's not the only good news. Trials for remdesivir are going to start in August. It's the inhaled version of the drug which is going to start in August. What the drug does is that it speeds up recovery by actually stopping the replication of the virus in the body. And so the inhaled version once it's brought in what it will do is at the moment the drug is administered intravenously. If you have the in- inhaled version of the drug what it means is that it can be given much earlier in the treatment of COVID-19 and can also be given to people outside in early stages of the disease so it is a huge development and so trials for that start in august speaking of trials trials for the oxford vaccine have now started in brazil brazil which is very badly hit and also one of the places where the infections are rising at a rapid rate this weekend the oxford vaccine was administered to 2000 people in hospitals who are all hospital workers in sao paulo and 1000 people in rio de janeiro this is the first uh, use of the oxford vaccine outside the uk and so results of that are weighted as well and finally icmr has now expanded the scope of antigen and antibody testing these rapid tests which give results in just 30 minutes can now be deployed not just in hospitals but also PSUs and other offices so that they allay fears of those people who are coming back to work private sector has in fact welcomed this move and this can be set up very easily and most importantly what it does is that it will improve and totally hasten the process of contract tracing so that goes a long way in improve testing facilities across the country those are the news updates for now keep tracking them on hindustantimes.com